Good morning. I'm your host, Tom Abbott, for Lake TV, presented by hy V, and we're here at the 32nd Annual Magic Dragon Car Show down on beautiful, historic Bagnell Dam Strip. Walking along, looking at some of the cars, and one in particular caught my eye. I've known about this car for a while, and the gentleman standing here, Bill Brooks, a good friend of mine, so I thought we'd come over and take a look at Bill's car, the one he calls the Tuxedo. We started on the car about 12 years ago, 13 years ago, founded up by Jeff City. It uh, um, had 82 plates on it, 82 inspection sticker, and it had the original motor in it. So at that point, you've got to do it original. Yeah. And, I'll, and so we started on the car and took it off the frame, did a complete restoration on it, um, did the motor, transmission, rear end, body work, interior work. And I've owned the car for, like I said, about 13 years. Even down to the correct spring clamps on the battery right here. Yep. You, you've paid a lot of attention to original detail on this car for sure. And the GM hoses, the heater control valve, all of that stuff. It's just phenomenal job on this, Thank Bill. You. What's in the, what's the future for the car? You're going to hold... I, looking at your Facebook page, I know you're a Chevelle guy. Yep. You've had a lot of Chevelles over Chevelle, there, Camaros, and yep. you've sold a lot of Chevelles yep. over the year. Are you going to sell this one? Yeah, it's going to go for sale. So we're standing here with Bob Wessling of St. Peter's, Missouri, and I walked up to Bob and asked a little bit about the car, and he was telling me a story, and I think everybody here should want to hear that. Uh, I'm an electrician and uh, I was working on a house across the street from this, where this car was. And so about a week later, I asked the guy I was working on his house, uh, what about that car next door? And he said the husband had died, and it's his sister because she can't drive a stick shift. So uh, I walked next door and asked her if uh, she was interested in selling it and was kind of sentimental. She says, well, let me ask my kids. So about next week came by, I went back over and she says, yeah, we'll sell it. If orange is your color, it's hard to go wrong with these three. We ran across this beautiful low mile example. Uh, Alan Trample from Iowa brought it all the way down here. And uh, Alan, tell us a little bit about this car and, and why you own it. Well, when I was in senior high school, I bought a car almost identical to this. Drove it all the way through college. It pretty much got destroyed. You know how college age, yep, ages are. Feet on them pretty good. Yep. Uh, Basically parted it out, scrapped it out. Was looking for four years to find my high school replacement. You know, when you get older and you get more money, you got money to play with. Mm -hmm. I found this car on the internet in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It had 17,000 original miles on it. And I've owned it for about four years now and I've got, it's got 32,000 original miles on it now. And we got a place down here um, on mile marker three. And I've been wanting to come to this for years. Yep. But I farm, so the first weekend of May is impossible for me to come down because I'm right, planting getting, corn. Got crops in the field, yep. yeah. So that happened to be it came this weekend. So I told my wife, I'm getting three or four buddies me. We're coming to the lake to the Magic Dragon National. And that's a wrap on the 2020 edition of the Magic Dragon Street Meet. From historic Bagnell Dam Strip, I'm your host Tom Abbott for Lake TV, presented by Hy-Vee.